Nikos for four, from four I admire. Spoon. I'm a big Pat Riley fan, a Godfather, so it's a lot of different things he's got going for. Are there any expectations for, for what your role is going to be as far as playing time, rotation, and all that? Uh, we'll see. We'll see at the start, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll, see. we'll see how it plays out. Was the discussions with him purely done through your agent, or did you get a call from Spo or from Pat Riley before uh, committing? Mostly through my agent. I talked to Spo too before I met him. Honestly. And what's and what, what did not asking obviously for secrets, but what generally did Spo say that influenced your decision? I'm beat them too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Your 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 admiration from over the years, just from afar, yeah. has been what? Man, just the way they develop guys, no matter the age, no matter the years, they just get everybody better. I think that's why I'm on the part of development. Player, any type of player. Does it make it easier for you? I don't mean in a bad way, having been through so many teams that your whole career has been about adjustments and maybe you've sort of seen it all already. So does it make it easier for you maybe to hit the ground running because there's probably not an NBA thing you haven't seen at some point? Uh, I guess. Yeah, a little bit because I, I play on different teams. So I guess that's a, a pro of it. Yeah, I can uh, adjust or uh, mesh well with the uh, team. And when you see this roster, how do you think perhaps your particular skill set might help or augment the team? I think it'll help a lot. I, mean, I haven't played with everybody yet, so we just want to see how the training camp goes. And I think it'll get better once we actually practice all together. Everyone knows about the heat way and heat culture. And obviously, some things have changed from 20 years sure, ago in terms sure. of the way to practice. But was there anyone that you approached, any friends in the league who have played here that gave you feedback on what it's like? Uh, everybody I've talked to, I ain't going to say their names, have said different things. Obviously, it's not as... I don't know, the stories are out there. It's not like that as it, as it once was. So. But it's uh, still a great culture, a hard-working culture, so I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. Jimmy, Jimmy's been a guy here for a while, but I'm curious as to when you're making your decision to come here, how much of a selling point now is, is Bam, not just what he does defensively, but how he can make scores life easier as a screen setter and everything? He's a phenomenal player. I think anybody would love to play with Bam on both sides of the floor. So I think he's a big selling point, yeah. not just me, anybody. That's a player. Yeah. How many uh, off the court, you know, Miami is Miami. I don't think it's a selling point. And uh, on the court, just uh, all the team, the players I could play with, the coach, you know, just everything. Just the being a part of the culture. The culture, I think that was a big selling point. Maybe it would be a media day, just having you in each one. If it was a movie about your life, what actor do you want to play? Uh, dude from Snowfall. Was it Damon's? Dame, Dame? Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want him to do it. And then obviously, you know, you've heard this before. Athletes always want to be entertainers, entertainers always want to be athletes. Um, you ever dropped any bars in the past? And, you know, never will, never have. <laughs> <laughs> I know my lane. This is it's out there. Perfect. <laughs> Most exciting thing about the training camp with the new league situation like this? Uh, just another league year in the league. I think that's the most exciting thing for me. So you're working on your Spanish back oh, there. It was bad. How's, how's your Spanish so far in Miami? Still, still. What's your favorite food so far? Yeah, I'll try here. You got it. Favorite food? I mean, I've been here a lot. I've, you know, Miami, Miami, but I'm, I'm a big pop fan. Big You like the colada too? Hot dogs. Uh, Press coffee. No, I don't, but my wife does. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a coffee person. I'm a Red Bull guy. <laughs> <laughs> not, not Thank you. No problem.